Hello, this is Crystal Racing here with the 2019 Australian Grand Prix Qualifying Report and right up first I'm showing you the qualifying improvements from last year onto this year and as you can see Alfa Romeo have made the biggest improvements of course or the, Alfa, or the Fiat money has helped an awful lot and of course with Kimi at the wheel they were always going to have a bit of a leap in performance, but Kimi has said that there's more to come because he wasn't happy with the setup of the car, which is, well, actually quite remarkable. Tor Rosso were very quick, but both of their drivers went out in Q2. Haas once again got into Q3. Brilliant lap by both Magnussen and Grosjean. McLaren have shown some real improvement with Lando Norris breaking into the top 10 on his Grand Prix debut. Renault were a bit disappointing, Mercedes, well, there's not really much of an improvement, but they got the front row to grid, so what does that matter? Uh, Red Bull really disappointing, and uh, Williams only attempts slower, meaning that Williams are not that bad as we all thought they would be. And here are the four results. Yep, Mercedes just really dominated to be frankly honest when everyone turned the wick up from Q2 onward and um, all that talk of um, Ferrari having half a second on top of Mercedes was absolute nonsense it turns out to be Mercedes are actually seven tenths of a second slower of course you need to remember this is a track that does suit Mercedes very heavily though because it's so power demanding whilst of course Ferrari will come into their own on the ball, um, twisty, bumpier top tracks. Um, on the other hand, though, Red Bull really, really were disappointing. But also, they also saw Pierre Gasly go out in Q3, which it well, not Q3, Q1, which was a bit of a mess up. Apparently, he was only a tenth or two slower than Verstappen, but that was enough to knock him out. Very, very fine margins, but of course, I think Red Bull were probably pushing it a bit too much. So, you know, welcome to Red to the Red Bull senior team, Pierre Gasly. Lando Norris, though, of course, in that extremely tight Q1, got his lap in. Carlos Sainz was another big name victim, along with Lance Stroll, but then, of course, no one really expects much from Lance Stroll. Antonio Giovinazzi. Didn't quite get his lap together. Kimi Raikkonen only had one set of um, soft tyres for his final run in Q3. Meaning that he's going to start P9. Um, and Leclerc um, qualified 0.25 seconds slower than Vettel. Of course, it's a solid, solid start, but not particularly impressive, I have to say, with Verstappen jumping in front of him. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe to Crystal Racing and I'll see you again next time.